this is a <clears throat> video and we'll be focusing on various aspects and main heading of the video is tackling any challenge basically in any field basically we'll be looking at coronavirus we'll be looking at mental health issues and all that so the basic thing which people forget is that there is a stratification of various fields so there is sociology at top is the most complex field then there is psychology and psychiatry then there is you have mathematics at bottom and there is biology psychology biology psychology and computer science you can say they are at equal par because computer science involves using the alu of the the brain of the computer so then there's biology then there's chemistry then there's uh this thing then there is physics and there's mathematics so these are the stratification of fields now currently coronavirus is a biology problem and we are good in sociology so if we can tackle one we can tackle three too so in this video lecture i would be explaining about all the fields and we will do up to biology we'll not sink below that because that's the current problem and uh, let's see how it goes so first we will do some sociology so most mental health problems happen because people don't do sociology beyond 10th grade so up to 10th grade people do sociology and after that they don't do sociology so you fall into a trap of psychology or they do some mathematics or engineering i have not written so engineering comes about chemistry because you use the substances so engineering is the field it's a field between biology and chemistry so these are the issues so people doing engineering fall into the trap of psychology because they don't understand it like drugs alcohol etc so it's an issue so now let us look at the first topic which is sociology i'm going to read out a small this thing so i'm going to do sociology uh so sociology is the science of society uh and there's political science so sociology is the science of society and this is the science of government a political party so this is social view point is there this attitude of authority the study of all kinds of social relationships the study of political relationships study of both organized and disorganized communities this is study of organized communities this is a study of all forms of society and study of all means of social control this is recognized means of social control now g g catlin has remarked that political science and sociology are two facets or aspects of the same figure according to camte and spencer there is no difference whatsoever between the two the laws of the state have a profound influence on the society it is by mean of law that the government changes and improves society and it is necessary to keep in view the mores traditions and customs of the country while formulating the laws for this knowledge of society will be needed for example in making the hindu code bill assistance was taken both from politics and sociology problem of designing on the form of government is best explained by having recourse to both sociology and political science problem of determining the government's policy is also common to both so that was a short read on sociology so next i'm going to do some 
log. This is log. I'm going to read some log. Uh, this is we have already discussed how far this customary theory of common law is remote from reality. To a large extent, that law is body of rules fabricated by the judges themselves over the centuries through strongly linked in certain respects. A law of any kind is inevitable with economic and social pattern of the society which gave rise to it. At the end of 18th century, it had become manifest to anyone with eyes to see that the ideas of judges doing more, no more than declare the law was a hollow pretense and this idea was roundly stigmatized by both Bentham and Austin and as a childish fiction. Bentham insisted that the common law is judgment law or he had somewhat disrespectfully called it the product of judges and go by which he meant that it was derived from the state of legal profession, professional opinion of which judiciary was only an element albeit in England at any rate the most important element. So that was a short paragraph from law. So now I'm going to read some political signs. So we'll do some political signs. Political signs. So the Treaty of Vienna restored some of its territories like Marathi, Kotami, and Gonaya. She controlled five colonies in Bay. Bay in 1842, Algeria was annexed. The Third Republic of France representing commercial and industrial interests further pushed colonial functions. In order to capture more raw material and new markets for the French products, in 1881, Tunisia was occupied and turned into a veritable capitalist enterprise. So, this is capitalism and all that. So, before Hitler took a step, a non-aggression pact was signed into between Germany and Soviet Union. So, we have read some political signs. So now let's do modern microeconomics. Modern microeconomics. Okay. So it is important to explain the concept of optimum firm. The optimum firm refers to the best or ideal size of the firm. Most specifically, optimum or best firm is considered as one that has set up a plant with lowest possible cost and is also operating at its lowest average cost point. E. H. G. Robinson, who has been a good deal of done a good deal of research in this issue of optimum firm research, writes an optimum firm is the one which operates at the scale at which the existing conditions of technique and organizing ability has the lowest average cost of production, and all these costs which must be covered in the long run are included. So we read some modern microeconomics. So now let's turn to uh, psychology, psychology. Psychology. So what I'm trying to say is that if we can solve all these problems, we can surely overcome the corona pandemic with confidence. So psychology has been studied since the 18th century or even earlier. And a uh, lot of problems like Braille was not known and then people got some mental health disorders and I found that out. Anyway, psychology is an important field. I have a paper on IQ and all that. Uh, let me just read out a text from a book about motivated forgetting. In this classic book, The Psychology of Everyday Life, Sigmund Freud clearly stated the principle underlying motivated targeting. Forgetting. The uniform result of the entire series of observations I can formulate as follows. The forgetting in all cases is proved to be founded on the motive of displeasure. In this quotation, Freud is hinting at a key concept of psychoanalysis, representation. Repression refers to the tendency of people to have difficulties retrieving anxiety provoking or threatening information and what is associated with that information from long term memory. Perhaps this helps to explain why people generally remember pleasant events more often than they do unpleasant events. The unpleasant memories have been repressed. So psychology is a very detailed field. So I did electrical engineering and suffered a lot with psychology because I did electrical engineering and physics. Both are lesser fields compared to psychology. But then I learned all these things and I learned sociology and all that and slowly overcame my problems. And let me read a bit about psychiatry. So humans have found 
ड्रग्स टू रिलीव साइकैट्रिक साइकोलॉजिकल accumulated problems which lead to psychiatric problems and uh, if they can find drugs for psychiatry though they are not perfect there is no cure for schizophrenia and this my hypothesis that braille is the cause of schizophrenia people not knowing braille and not doing puzzles and all those things if you do uh, there are some things like rubik's cube uh which is 20 by 20 rubik's cube you have to solve up to 20 by 20 and then you have to do chess uh grand master and these levels are required so then we'll do psychiatry there are medicines so my hope is that if we can do psychiatric medicine perfect them uh as a relieving model until the cure comes we can also solve the corona virus so let me read out um, something about psychiatry insomnia disorder insomnia is defined as a difficulty in imitating or maintaining sleep it is the most common sleep complaint and it may be transient or persistent population surveys show a one year prevalence in the rate of 30 to 45% in adults dsm5 defines insomnia as a dissatisfaction with sleep quality or quality uh associated with one or more of the following symptoms difficulty in initiating sleep difficulty in maintaining sleep etc it is now recognized that insomnia can be independent condition and all those things insomnia disorder so let's see what are the medicines that they give for that so treating pharmacological pharmacology family is treated with benzodiazepines zolpidem escopilone zapelone and other hypnotics so there are a lot of medicines so psychiatry is quite evolved so that's it about psychiatry so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to read a bit about virology uh psychiatry there is medical dose concentration i found the formula for the medical dose concentration without drawing a blood draw and all that i'm yet to publish it um so let us do something about virology so that's the problem of that day so the other thing i wanted to say for example space for example we did sociology and we were able to do physics space is a physics problem so sociology biology engineering and all that we were able to conquer engineering and physics problem we were able to conquer space because we were doing smart problems in biology in a similar way the hope is we can do smart problems in sociology and solve psychology virology and all those things so let us solve the virological problem let's get an initiative into that and let's spread global awareness about virology so once we spread that Uh, people will be able to solve the problem for example in 1953 the first adenovirus was isolated from a human and subsequently 47 types have been so shown to exist adenoviruses are now classified into six subgroups which are based on their hemagglutination properties they have an icosahedron structure which contains double stranded linear dna of 45000 base pairs although adenoviruses can cause a range of infections in humans including conjunctivitis pharyngitis and gastroenteritis This chapter focuses on adeno gastroenteritic adenovirus and their rapid detection in fecal samples. So let us read about some medicines. So there's primer, five prime, G C T T T and A prime, the G C C. They have done the DNA electrophoresis, Oxford, and um, yeah, the research is quite involved. So if we have a perspective about various other higher disciplines and we keep solving with solving the rubik's rubik's cubes and chess and all that i think we can mentally will be able to overcome that so let me end the video lecture with a small excerpt from the magic of thinking big so i think we should uh, have a lot of virologists in the pipeline lot of people should choose medicine and take virology instead of doing physics or something like that that's my advice so so building confidence and destroying figure fear 
anything that will cause you to ask yourself will i get caught will they find out will i get away with it don't try to make an a if it means violating your confidence paul i am pleased to say you got the point he learned the practical value of doing what's right i then propose he sit down and retake the examination to this question what about my dismissal i know he had actually copied in the exam but you know if i dismissed all students who have cheated in any way half the professors would have to leave and if he dismissed all the students who cheat thought about cheating the university would have to shut down so i'm forgetting this whole incident so basically he's saying that you have to build your conscience and not do the wrong things so don't copy and all those things yeah so hope you enjoyed the short multidisciplinary video lecture and i'll be doing many more of these thank you